Retailers, big and small, have been through so much this past year, from temporarily closing to opening up again with new safety restrictions or maybe just closing for good. Our Barrett Leone joins us in the studio looking into two different, very different sides of the brick and mortar business uh, during this pandemic. Barrett. Yeah, Tom, COVID-19 has negatively impacted so much, but it's also helped some by taking business into a record sales year. There are some things when that comes in, you need to touch, feel, and maybe even sit on. Pretty good. To know if you want to hand over the credit card. I'll give you a deal on that one. But in these pandemic times, it's been rather tough. That hasn't been happening as much. And the traffic is down probably by about 75%. It's mostly the locals that we're no. missing out on. And uh, small businesses like ours rely on the local traffic and it's been a combination of COVID and uh, construction. Working to maintain some normalcy, one of Rochester's oldest retailers greets guests for its annual sidewalk sale. Oh yeah, that's very nice. Hoping real normalcy is just around the corner. I firmly believe that it's more that we don't have our work staff downtown any longer. Meanwhile, across town, another locally owned business says the lack of traffic. We've stayed record setting busy all winter. Has brought in more store traffic than ever before. We eliminated most other costly, fun things that people do in the summer. So graduation party money went to furniture, wedding money went to furniture, vacation money went to furniture, travel money went to furniture, stimulus money went to furniture, unemployment money went to furniture. You know, people, people have money to spend and nowhere else to spend it other than what's underneath you at home right now. So furniture superstore sales are up at least 30%. We have companies that are out until Labor Day right now. Wondering if normal will actually return. Everybody is guessing when the slowdown is going to happen and maybe it won't, maybe it will, maybe we're in a new, you know, where people are spending their money at home as a new normal. While new business has allowed Furniture Superstore to hire and employ more people, there is a significant backup with orders. Moen tells us that even if they sold their last couch today, it would take nine months to fill that order. Both businesses encourage Rochester residents to shop local. Reporting live in the studio, Barrett Leone, KTTC News.